Disclaimer, Hot Ones is not to be taken lightly or seriously. It's made under the context of satire, parody, and comedy. Remember, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. We will continue making these episodes until I, Juan Hungrybox Abedma, am formally invited onto Hot Ones. The ball's in your court, Sean. Everyone, welcome to another episode of Hot Juans. It is a nice, crisp, chilly Los Angeles evening, and I'm pleased to inform you that we're joined for the first time by a pro League of Legends player, Eugene Pobelter Park. How are you doing today, Eugene? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Glad to be here. Eugene, you know, you've been uh, asking a lot of questions off camera sort of to mentally prepare yourself. You're actually meditating for a second, too. I am a little nervous. I did touch my eye a little bit, and I caught some residual spice from somewhere, and I'm, I don't know if my eye is red right now, but I'm, I'm ready. I think I can maintain my composure. Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I can't. I, <laughs> I well, think I'll perform respectably. Delicious as good. Oh, we toast, okay. Toast the wings, exactly. This is a good bite size. Am I supposed to bite more? You're cool, man. It's kind of good, all of it. <laughs> of course, recently you made your transition from being a pro player for FlyQuest, um, but now you're coaching, I believe, for mm -hmm. Team Liquid and both top and mid lane. How are you feeling, I guess, about this new role, given that it's quite different than what you used to? Even back when I was a player, um, I felt like I could do a good job being a coach, just the way I, how I analytically think about the game. Um, and then kind of the opportunity presented itself where I couldn't be a player this year, but uh, Steve offered me a spot as an assistant coach on Team Liquid. So um, it just seemed like a great opportunity to try it out. Like I still want to be a player and I still want to be competing, but um, the way that I view it, it's not like a bad thing to take a split or take a year right. and try my hand at this and gain a new perspective on things and then, you know, just see how I am at coaching too. Was coaching something eventually you wanted to do as a goal? Like you were sort of thinking about it for a while and now you have a chance to finally do it? Yeah, I think so. It was always like, what am I going to do after I retire being a pro player? Well, I'm not retired yet. Like I said, I want to keep being a pro, but... Right. I guess, what did you miss most about being on Team Liquid? Because you went here and there and back and forth and now you're back here. Um, there's a lot of people on the content team too who I really <laughs> like being around every day. And of course, the facility is really nice too. Of course, AWTF shout out. Always. And yeah, TL is just like um, it's like one of the biggest esport orgs has like the best sponsors stuff like that. So it felt like just felt really nice coming back. Well, on behalf of Team Liquid, as the resident wing eater, welcome back. Thank you. All right, let's move along. Beasting. I'm so good. So, of course, we did some deep dives into your socials. Wanted to see more about what the actual Eugene Park is like. I noticed you're very into going to the gym. And I noticed that you and your girlfriend uh, go to the gym together and she's also a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. um, has she been helping you train and sort of keeping you accountable into like making sure that your health is good, not just like, you know, for your gameplay, but also like your personal health and making sure your fitness both in mentally and physically? Yeah, I mean, she's great. She's like um, one of the biggest support figures in my life. You know, she was there for me when I was feeling really down, when I couldn't get a spot as an LCS player. Mm. She's always encouraging me, um, you know, not just going to the gym. I guess she does that too. <laughs> um, no, I, I want to go to the gym because she's a personal trainer. It's definitely important for her too. Right. And it was something I always wanted to do too. Right. So it's kind of great because if I ever have a question or something like that, I can just ask her like, hey, I have a question about this exercise. I don't know if I'm doing it right. It's like an automatic encyclopedia yeah, for show you me. Yeah. on the spot. That's good. Like what would you say is your favorite workout once you're there? I'm doing like a push pull legs thing right now. So I don't know if I have like a favorite workout. Actually rock climbing is really fun and oh. that's a great workout. So I'll do that from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't skip leg day for sure, right? Yeah, do not skip leg day. Would you mind flexing for the camera right now? Or are you too modest to show that yet? I don't want, I don't want to rip the sweater. Oh my God. So you flex in game and not out of it. I see. I guess what is your fitness goal? If you had to tell us right now and you want to put it out into the universe to reach it by 2020, whatever it is, what's your ultimate goal in fitness? Be stronger. <laughs> Be stronger. Be, strong. Be a strong guy. I like it. Simple and to the point. Went along. Gunslinger. I'm not sure if many people realize this, but you, my friend, mm -hmm. have a SoundCloud account. Yeah. And this account is called Notorious POB. 
where you've posted a couple of your tracks so far. And I gotta say, man, you are really talented. Like, you're not just a good league player, now league coach. You've got some serious musical skill. I heard a couple of tracks and they're phenomenal. What are your ambitions with music? Is it just like a side project for you? Or are you like really wanting to go deeper into that? Am I allowed to talk while well, my mouth is so full of wings? You can eat the wings first, don't worry. They're gonna fix us all in post, miraculous. In fact, we'll do a time lapse right now of him chewing the wing. Uh, yeah, it's just a fun little <laughs> hobby thing. Actually, I played um, violin and piano growing up, and then I kind of stopped when I hit high school to focus on studying, and right. then I just like never really picked it back up until like two years ago when I was on TL, actually. Uh, the content team was looking for stuff to do, and they're like, hey, you played music when you were a kid, do it again. I was like, all right, I guess. Um, right now, I've been playing a little bit more guitar, trying to get in the groove of that, of like singing and playing at the same time, which oh, nice. is really hard, because it's two different rhythms. Uh, you have to memorize the fingering, the strumming pattern, and the words, uh, and you have to like, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to sync everything up, because I've only ever like just played. Would you compare that level of multitasking similar to League, where you have to keep track of 10 different things at once and be good at it all at the same time? Yes, definitely. What are your top five or top three artists right now? Who would you listen to to get in the zone? Well, I had the Spotify re unwrap thing. Oh, did you? Year. Who are my top five artists? I think it was Flume at the top. Okay. Um, then it was Frank Ocean. Okay, probably. we share that one. You could actually check your phone. I actually want to see what your Spotify unwrapped is for the year. Oh, I listened to so much James Blake this year. James Blake. We have the same taste, dude. You know he's playing like live this week here. Really? I gotta see it. James Blake is playing live. The ticket's like 300 bucks, but I might still go. I might still go too. I really like. You trying James to go Blake. see James Blake? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm best friends with this guy. Already. <laughs> I'm best friends with Eugene. Uh, Blake. James Blake, and then pff, last one is what. Uh, Flying Lotus, maybe? I collect vinyl a lot and I have like finals from all those, you know, have all James Blake, so that's nice, good. I, I see that you're a man of culture as well. Oh yeah, what's your Spotify unwrapped? What was your top five listen to? I don't use Spotify anymore. Oh, okay, what do you use? I use Apple Music and I also use Tidal. And you might- Tidal? <laughs> you might think it's funny. We got a rich guy over here, oh. look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Says you, league player. All right, <laughs> Let me, yeah, you can have some smash money in a bit, see that's like. But in any case, I think that I Tidal to me is good, once you have like a good like sound system, especially a good pair of headphones. I like that a lot. So uh -huh. um, also Spotify limits your collection at 10,000 songs S to this day. That's messed up, even when you pay for it. Why, right? Wait, so you, like you can only add 10,000 songs to one playlist? Yep. Uh, do you need more? <laughs> Isn't that probably? I need a lot more. <laughs> Wait, let me do the math. 30,000 minutes of songs. Say one song is three minutes. Eugene. Right? You do 30,000 minutes, can we... you divide that by 60. Yeah. That's 5,000 hours. You divide that by 24, that's like what? You know, maybe I like having a 50,000 song playlist. Is not like 250 raw days of music? Next wing. <laughs> You have Dave's. Okay. We'll do one more toast because you made it almost the halfway point. It tastes so good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna finish eating all these palatable ones later. You posted a fast food to list once, which we have split for you here. Uh huh. You know, I ran a fast food bracket on Twitter a while ago. I posted my own tier list. In fact, I had an entire panel of people give me their opinions. We compiled it and came up with a scientific method determining the best rated fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. And your list, after giving it a lot of thought, I have to say, it's not bad. Thanks. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty decent list, apart from a few glaring errors. I'm not sure why you would put a restaurant as overpriced as Shake Shack at the very top. But you yeah, know, you know, I don't even think Shake Shack really qualifies as fast food, but it was in the list that I had to rank, Oh, it, so. it definitely does. I think if, if you can qualify five guys, you can qualify Shake Shack. Now, why do you have Arby's and F tier? I've only had Arby's like once in my life before, okay? It so was, you thought that was enough for you to qualify it? Yeah, well I was like eight and I got the roast beef sandwich from Arby's and then it was really bad and I felt like puking after. Oh. And then I've never had Arby's again. Why would I need to? There's so much good fast food out there to have to have an Arby's. I just want to say as the host of the show, I do not condone any Arby's hatred. I think I love your horsey sauce, I love the curly fries and I'm sorry for my guest here today. What's the slogan? I'm thinking Arby's. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that ever. So where would you put Jersey Mike's in this list? Jersey Mike's? Yeah. Wait, is Jersey Mike's a Team Liquid sponsor? <laughs> right at the top, guys. Hey, we're right class. at the top. There you go. Team player. I love it. I love it. One more question, though. I mean, McDonald's is in the middle of the list where it should be. Uh -huh. Taco Bell right above it where it should be. What is with you and your love for Del Taco? I think Del Taco is a little... Del Taco's fine. Del Taco gets the job done. That's why it's B. It's good and it's really cheap. They sell their tacos for like 
I mean, 29 cents. I don't know how they can do that. It's I mean, like the, not real meat in it or something, but it tastes delicious. I mean, if you've ever had the chili cheese fries, I think you'd change your mind. I mean, the DMV also gets the job done, but Jesus Christ. The chili cheese fries from Del Taco are really good. That's why it's in B tier. All right. I respect it. It could be a lot worse. I'll let you know that. I don't even want to see your cereal tier list. That'll just be a disaster. Oh, wait, but actually, one more question. You're missing Chipotle. Oh, yeah, Chipotle would be at the top, like triple S. It wasn't on the list that I had to rank, so. Would you qualify Chipotle as fast food? That's like a tier above fast food meat. You know, like you can't drive through and get a Chipotle. But you can sit down and order it at the front really quick. There's a whole argument about it, but yes. If, it's, if Shake Shack is fast food and so is Five Guys. I also did some preliminary research on this subject and I do believe Chipotle is classified as a fast casual type restaurant, not a fast food restaurant. The word fast in it, right? <laughs> yeah, but not food. <laughs> <laughs> it is food, it's way better. We are at the halfway point, my friend. All right, it's starting to get a little hot. You good? I'm good, though. We're testing your limits with these wings today, but there's another way that you tested your limit, actually. You scored, and I have the information here, a 41 out of 50 on the Wonder Lick test, yeah. which is used to test critical thinking, things like IQ. You know, most chemists and engineers score 30 on this test. You're 11 points higher than that, so you crushed that average and expectation. Um, and essentially, where do you think you get your smarts from? Have you always been talented with that sort of thing? I don't know, my parents always pushed me to study really hard, and like, they always told me I was smart, so maybe I became smart. <laughs> Where did the, this name, Notorious P.O.B., come from? It was when Snapchat first came out, and then uh, I would just post dumb stuff on Snapchat. And then, you know that really iconic photo of the Notorious B.I.G., and then he has like a cigar in his mouth yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. and he's looking tough? So I did that, except I was brushing my teeth, and it was like a toothbrush and then I just did Notorious P.O.B. And you, that's kind of where it came from. Do you think your opponents in League think about that photo when they're fighting you? Uh, or do they look down upon you? They probably don't think about it at all, I'll be honest. <laughs> Maybe they will think about it now. They New Jersey, they watch they Hot Wands. Oh, that's true. Well, you know, you talk some big talk, but you know, we're not even at the the true test right here, the true trials of man. Yeah, I'm starting to feel residual heat in my mouth and there's still five left. Yeah. And they get noticeably spicier. Yeah, they're, they're, starting they're dark, they look more like blood. And, one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it looks more like death, actually. Before we go on, do we have any other secret names I should know about, apart from Notorious P.O.B., any nicknames from your family, maybe? Uh, no. Nothing your friends no. or significant Eugene. others? Eugene, Huge. Or Gene. <laughs> they call you Huge. <laughs> Only so many things you can do with the name Eugene. I'm gonna call you Huge from now on. Yeah, Huge or Gene. Eugeo. Yeah. Our last of the OK sauces. This is called Dirty Dicks. Dirty Dicks. Love that name. Loves me some Enjoy. Dirty Dick. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Isn't it? It's like Dijon mustard a little bit. That's kind of spicy. And you said it gets way spicier. Mm, let it linger. Right now, we've been at the theme park. You know, enjoying some merry-go-rounds, some bumper cars. And I think I want to take you on to the Hulk really quick. It looks like you're learning to attempt how to cook. There's some pictures that you've posted. <laughs> I mean, delicious stuff, really. As you guys can see, this is uh, just phenomenal. I mean, Gordon Ramsay would be proud of you, yeah. if I'm being honest. How's that going for you so far, would you say? Um, not great, um, not horrible. There's a lot of room for improvement, uh, I would definitely say, but it's really fun. Um, I never really knew how to cook as a kid, and as a pro, I've always just ordered takeout, stuff like that, or right. Chipotle every day. So it's kind of been fun learning how to cook. Um, to be fair, most of my cooking is not that bad, but I just post like the really funny looking ones on <laughs> Twitter, like the failures, because I know like people will think that's funny. What do you, what would you say is the hardest thing that you've tried to cook? and failed horribly at it. You know, I made wontons the other night with my girlfriend. That might be it, because they actually tasted okay, but um, we were rolling out like the dough balls with glass cups because we didn't have a rolling pin. Okay. And then, so that was kind of ghetto. Um, <laughs> and then we didn't have a steamer, so we got a pot and filled it with water, filled it with like, used a pasta strainer. Right. And then covered it with a different pot lid to steam it. And then like the wonton skin was just way too thick because we didn't roll it out properly. Uh, so it was really doughy, but it tasted okay, honestly. So that, if it, it tasted, tasted okay. okay, it was probably a plus rather than a bad one, right? Yeah, but the manner in which it was made was very bootleg. Sometimes it's not the resource that you have in hand, but the, the heart that goes into it, right? And I think you might need a lot of heart. True say, this. true say. Before we go into the these final four stocks of this challenge, 
you need an inspiration for this. You need to look to someone for guidance to make sure your mouth can take this. My mom uh, always nice. cooked really great food for me when I was growing up. So Same. that's why I kind of wanted to learn. She actually really flames me. Like when, when I go <laughs> visit home now, I'll help her prep the kitchen if she needs it. And then she'll like tell me to chop vegetables. And then I guess I'll just be chopping them so bad. She'll be like, no, no, no. Yeah. You know, how are you so bad at this? I'm like, come on, I'm learning. Don't be so hard on me. My mom kicks me out of the kitchen after like five minutes. She's like, just just go. Just yeah. go play Smash something like that. I'm like, Jesus wanted to help. But uh, hopefully you make your mom proud. Are you ready for this? This one's for you, mom. Let's go to Flavor Town. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Hmm. That's wrong. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Is that the bomb? That's the bomb. What the fuck? There's three more. Now that your mouth is on fire, uh, let's test your IQ. Answer these questions. It's lingering. It's lingering. If you only had one match and you have to enter a dark room containing an oil lamp, some kindling, would in a newspaper, which one would you like first? Uh, oh fuck. Newspaper, because then you can light the other two. Uh, no, it's the match, you're wrong. So, oh fuck it. This is wrong, this was oh. a mistake. No, it gets worse. Some months have 30, focus Eugene. Some months have 31 days, others have 30 days, but how many have 28 days? All of them. Fuck, you got it. Okay, what do you sit on, sleep on, and brush your teeth with? It won't go away. <laughs> it won't go away, Eugene. I'm looking at you, and this is making it worse. <laughs> Repeat the question. What do you sit on, sleep on, and brush your teeth with? <sighs> what? <laughs> Wrong. Which numbers? <laughs> oh, go the away. answer. It was a chair, a bed, and a toothbrush. I thought it was one sort of multi-purpose tool. I know, that's what I thought too. Okay, which numbers, one through a thousand, have an A in their spelling? And there is an answer to this. What the fuck? One. That's none. <laughs> none of them. One thousand. No. Oh. To be fair, we're gonna be the hundred. Good spice. Keep going. Shit. It's 1,000. I was right. No. The proctor was wrong. And I was right. How much dirt is in a hole five feet wide? None. Five... None. Okay. You're not in control now. I'm in control. You know what, Eugene? I ask you the think... questions now. You, you think... suffer and I ask. Oh, yeah? Ask you whatever you want. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, endorphin rush. Oh shit, we're, I wanted more of a cool down, but okay. Get some more milk or water, it will help. The milk is not helping, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's almond milk. And probably. Cheers, bud. Cheers. <laughs> Your hand is trembling. How do you feel about the recent Louis Vuitton collaboration League of Legends is doing? It seems like a very weird crossover to me, like kind of like me and you eating wings. Um, are you, are you, do you think you're gonna get any of those uh, items? Is that your fashion sense? You know, before it came out, I was thinking like, you know, maybe actually if there's something like dope as hell. I've been playing this game for 10 years. If I want to splurge a little and buy myself something that costs like a few thousand bucks and looks dope as fuck, I'm gonna do it. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it. What is the dumbest or most luxurious thing you've ever bought with your sweet earned esports money? You know, probably the most expensive thing I bought was like an off-white sweater and that was like 900 bucks maybe um, it was kind of stupid I don't really even wear it that much and then I realized like you know designer fashion it's not really for me I'll just wear what I usually wear which is free t-shirts same my entire wardrobe is sent to me I think. yeah you want to ask me because you think you're the captain now what the dumbest thing I bought was what's the dumbest thing you ever bought a thousand, speak a thousand dollar pair of headphones yeah was but it's it worth it them. Yeah. it's worth it every day yeah, it seems like you're into that audio fidelity with the title. Campfire audio. We're on our last two wins. Are you ready? Ready. Oh. 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 Leave lenses. Leave. <laughs> 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 ah! 
League of Legends uh. is constantly changing, and along with that change comes changes to the map. How do you feel about the changes Riot has made to the Summoner's Rift this season? Oh, this is fucked. <sighs> I gotta film this twice more this week, Eugene, so don't feel bad. Really? Yeah, so how do you feel about changes to the Summoner's Rift? Um, changes. You know, I'm handling it. I'm actually doing fine. But, um... Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> the changes. So, um, the map changes now after every dragon, <laughs> and, um... I gotta say, Juan, it is quite a treat to see the map open up like that. You can really tell the designers put a lot of effort and care into it, into making each game of League of Legends dynamic <laughs> and strategically diverse, and... Really looking forward to see how it's gonna affect the competitive side of it uh, this upcoming year. And you being the coach for the Liquid again, yeah. Do you feel like the changes to the map is that more your forte? Or do you think you're more comfortable with that, or is that gonna be a lot of big changes to everyone's style? Uh, it's actually really not that big of a deal. It, it really doesn't change that much overall in terms of how the game functions. I think. Okay. So it's just like a it's like a cute little thing. I see. Gotcha. Yeah. Well. Eugene, we've uh, we've made it to the very end. Okay. We now have very own, completely hot ones. The last stock, completely hot original sauce. sauce, right? And Smash Bros. The last stock is considered the most highly intense situation, one that involves intense dynamics, high pressure, and clutch decision making. Are you prepared for the last stock? Yes. While we go on a deep dive into your socials. Cheers. Good luck, buddy. Is his hand supposed to be shaking like that? Some days I'm better, some days I'm right now. Fuck me. <clears throat> Pull up the images. Bring in the dancing lobsters. <coughs> Explain to me this photo. With this lovely long hair gentleman you're with. He seems happy to be with you. That's my good friend, I'm a cutie pie. Uh, Michael Santana. Mm. Curse. I think this was at IPL 4. You and I were both on Curse 4 Liquid, looks like. Yeah. Nice little thing we share. IPL 4, it must have been 2013. Okay. Or 2012, 2012. So I was 16 in that photo. Gotcha. Moving along. Explain, my friend. I was in Japan, and the Airbnb I was staying in had this cool samurai gear next to this movie poster. Do you challenge your inner samurai when you play League? When I play Yasuo, yeah. Gotcha. Samurai character. <laughs> you are definitely a challenger here. That's how I met my girlfriend. She saw me wearing this, Wait. and she was like, woo. We we're gonna talk to him. <laughs> were you at a party wearing that? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I would never. <coughs> oh no, it went down the wrong hole. Oh, don't you hate when that happened? What's the caption? Time to the club. I I just <laughs> you know the idea of wearing a challenger jacket outside. I just hemmed it up for my audience with the fedora. Yeah, hamming it up for doing things you don't want to do because you're now <sighs> obligated to. I don't know anything about the. I feel kind of cold now. I, I'm getting the. I'm getting the chills. It's like the now chills. Just, okay, just please next picture. Okay. I know that guy, and I also know that he doesn't even want to touch you. Why is he double the tougher hitting you? Uh. Oh fucking no, man! I can't think of anything funny to say. Yeah, you don't have to. Just can you explain it? I don't know. Maybe he thinks of me a certain way, and he didn't want to. Uh, he felt a little shy. You're wearing a shirt though. That's kind of messed up on his part. <laughs> I agree. He's, right. I'm wearing his shirt, he's wearing mine. Um, I'm not sure you put a cap into this, but this is a... Uh, your mom grew a cucumber in our garden, this is it. W were, you, were you trying to invoke a certain emotion or feeling by posting this image of a very... Yes, existential terror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified of you, dude. At the top, <laughs> it's growing one way, then it realizes middle of life. Oh. It's not how it's meant to be. It wants to retreat back into the womb. Go back from where it's came, deep back into the ground. But it can't. Oh, God. It goes down forever. Dude. And then the cucumber dies. <laughs> Jesus, dude. But eventually you come back home, right? Looks like. Maybe? <sighs> yeah. League of Legends for <laughs> men. Oh, what is this right here? Uh, I saw this picture online. It looks so funny, man. Like, who the fuck is going to buy this and wear this? Uh, did you? Next question, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. Eugene, you have made it past the Hot Juan's challenge. Uh -huh. You're taking a bite out of every wing so far. How are you feeling right now? That wasn't 
that bad, honestly. Well, okay. It was really hot, but I feel like I toughed it out. How would you rate how I toughed it out compared to the others? Oh, I think you are, th- I think maybe third. Really? Actually, so those other guys were just like stone cold chilling the whole time? I don't know. Like, MK Leo was, you know, that really well. <sighs> but you're above me. I'm fifth right now. Okay. I was really scared after this one. I thought they were going to keep getting like way hotter. No, because your nerves just no longer function. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have one last question for you, the bomb mm-hmm. trivia. <laughs> The loser of this has to take one little finger dab of this. Okay. We gave you a violin question. <laughs> yeah, I actually, this is really easy. <laughs> I fucking told you. You were the one who wanted to do this question. Are you going to read the question? Give me the K-pop question instead. Do I just, say, do I just no, say the answer? The he already knows the answer to this one. <laughs> violin strings are originally made from what substance? Dried animal intestines, salted horse hair, fermented wheatgrass fibers, Melted copper shavings or petrified birch wood? Horse hair. I learned that in like fourth grade. It's not horse hair. You got oh, it wrong. Fuck. It's the co- oh, get fucked here. Okay, get your finger. Yeah. It's a. It's dry and long intestines. I learned this in the fourth grade and oh I promptly forgot. God. Cut the camera. Don't put this in the clip. This is it. You don't know what satisfaction can give me. Take a finger full of that. Hold that water down. I want to see how long you last, Mister Confident, Mister Poe Belter. Wait, what does it mean? Hold the water down. No, no, no. I want to see how long you can hold down your mouth without drinking water. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'll do 10 seconds. 10. 10. You gotta savor it. Ah. <laughs> Guys, this has been another episode ah. of Hot Juan's with- You know what, I'm chill. Eugene Pobelter. You're not chill. You're not chill. Good. You try to play me. I see right through it. But honestly, you've handled it well. You've made it past this far. And I'm just surprised you got that question wrong. I thought it was horse hairs. Oh, I think it's horse hair. Oh, I didn't read the question properly. It's violin strings. Yeah, of course you're made out of intestines. Maybe next time you won't get a 31 on that one lick test. Read the prompt first. Oh, I thought it said bow. Read the prompt. In any case, how are you feeling now? You finished the challenge? I'm pretty good. I'm gonna get all the non spicy wings. Actually, that's what I do as well because these actually help it go down easier. Mm. As usual, this has been another episode of Hot Juan's, a show with spicy wings and spicier gamers. Eugene, Poe Belter, Park, is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans at home, to these three cameras in tandem? I just wanna say <laughs> I'm cheering up because I'm so appreciative of the fans. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for welcoming me back on a Team Liquid. Really excited to have a great competitive year. Back with the boys. Do you want to hug it out? No. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's it, really.